Sup, and good day gamers, a formal bust here with a first impression of Darkest Dungeon. But first, my sponsor, as always, good old H2O. Drink it up or die. Oh, quenchable. Darkest Dungeon! This game was released back in January of 2016. It was developed and published by Red Hook Studios. Uh, the Steam descriptions is... Uh, says, Darkest Dungeon is a challenging, gothic, roguelike, turn-based RPG about the psychological stresses of adventuring. Recruit, train, and lead a team of flawed heroes against unimaginable horrors, stress, famine, disease, and the ever-encroaching dark. Can you keep your, uh, your heroes together when all hope is lost? Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> uh, tagged on Steam as a turn-based, dark fantasy, RPG, and difficult. Okay. Uh, currently, it is on the Steam store for twenty-four point ninety-nine United States dollars, about twenty uh, twenty-five dollars almost uh, USD, and it has DLC. Some of it is free, but I believe the majority of it costs money. Okay. Uh, before we get into this, let's do the menu. You have this is interesting. From the main menu of the game, you only have the option of campaign, and I guess I don't know what this stuff is. Let's. Oh, you're, that is actually your options, right there, the little candlestick. But you can also get to it by pressing escape. This is, yes, mailing list. Don't want to do that. They got the build number up here and uh, DLC advertisement. Okay, so main menu. You got credits, watch intro cinematic, which we'll do in a second, and exit to desktop. Uh, let's go to options, though. Control options. I'm not using a controller, but nice to see the option. Hold required. This seems like something I might turn on, but we'll see in game if we need it interact that's uh yeah controller vibration controller alternative controller glyphs doesn't really say what that means i guess it is probably switching between um xbox uh symbols xbox controller symbols and playstation controller symbols that's all i can assume graphics whole lot <laughs> uh you got full screen uh uh and if you are full screen your monitor number i do love the question mark full screen huh all of these should be question marks really uh, gamma, you can go all the way from 1, which is way too dark, for me at least, all the way up to 10. I'm going to probably leave it at like 7, probably, unless I want to change it. Combat pivot camera. Yeah, 3D perspective effect when switching between here and monster turns. Think I'm going to keep it. Blur effects. No, I don't I don't want blur. I never want blur. And if you turn full screen off, of course, restart the game for these changes to take effect, you get access to all your resolutions, however many they are. But we're going to leave it on full screen discard them uh audio subtitles nice to see you have the option for bottom and top and off we're gonna stick with bottom for now uh mute nice to see you can just mute the entire game's audio output uh normally you'd have to uh, in most games you'd have to turn this all the way down which also still mutes it but you know is not ideal nice to see a little check mark for mute and mute while in background that's also a nice option SFX volume, uh, music volume, narration, and cinematic volume. Nice to see. Uh, discard changes. And other. Kind of just threw everything in here, didn't they? Uh, tutorials, extra bark time? Just how long Hero Word Balloon shows up? Uh, I guess, sure, we'll delay that. Just just a second. Just a second. I assume that's in seconds. Yeah, seconds. Bark dismissal. Uh, yeah, you can click to dismiss it. Party auto sort. Enabled active party members always appear at the top of the hero. That's not okay. Yeah, that's good. Debug output show error message. Okay, yeah, that is nice. It's nice to see that you can turn that on and off. Languages English isn't the first one. It is auto set, but it is not the first one. Portuguese don't know. Sorry, English, French. Yep, got, got plenty. Got plenty. More than some games. Nice to see that in here. Let's go back to English because I can only speak English, unfortunately. Auto-centering dungeon map. Yes, we will keep that. Circus trinket warning. I don't know what this does, so we'll leave it as its default. And always show circus tutorials. I guess. I guess it will will come up. Uh, this is enabled data collection multiplayer. Uh, I'm not worried about it because I'm offline right now. But if I go to review this game, maybe I will do more of it. Yep, that's all the options. Uh, I don't... I mean... There could be more, you know. Uh, it is, I believe... Uh, you know, 2D somewhat, so I don't know how much more options you could have, but it's nice to see all of those. All right, 
uh, credits there if you want it. We're going to watch the intro cinematic, and then we will get into the campaign. So here we go. And I'll shut up. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. <laughs> It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Nice, nice little background info. Let's see if we can do that for him. Okay. Uh... I don't know, Butcher's Circus and click here to begin are. I'm going to click here to begin because that's where it says to click here. Okay, so Radiant, use your difficulties. The Radiant campaigns, while still challenging, are adjusted to be faster and more forgiving. Okay, so more forgiving and quicker playthrough, I guess. First Dark Dungeon experience, Darkest. Normal cam campaigns are... Okay, so they do call it normal there. Are the original settings for the game... While there is no time limit to win, the campaign will be longer and more challenging than Radiant Mode. Okay, we'll go with that. And, okay, campaigns are not for the faint of heart. Expect no quarter, no forgiveness. You must conquer the evil within a time and hero death limit. Okay, also many gameplay settings are locked. Let's go with Darkest then. Seems like, you know, where you're supposed to be. Yeah, Darkest. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Okay. Darn it, my insane uh, stagecoach driver Ugh. left me alone. Okay. So, with the uh, stagecoach short and caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. Great. Do I have to press anything, or is this just a loading screen? I think that's just loading screen. Sure. Okay. 
One early complaint, uh, cursor doesn't just auto go away during cutscenes, which I guess is fine. You can just move it to the side like that and not worry about it. Oh no, what is going on? Sorry gamers. Okay, something very strange is going on with my uh, graphics for some reason. I'm gonna switch to bordered just to fix that. Because you can see on what I am recording, for some reason I have very large black area over here, but my mouse, this is the edge of my screen, can't go over. It's very strange. Okay, so. Exit the desktop real quick, and we'll be right back into this. It's uh, very strange. Unfortunate, too. And the intro plays every time, and you can just skip it. Yes. Campaign. Darkest. Okay, let's see if... Nope. Got the right resolution still. That is very strange. No, again? What the hell? Hmm. What are you doing, Darkest Dungeon? This is the weirdest bug I've seen. Okay. Well. Nope. All right, easy way to fix this. Easy way to fix this. Easy way to fix this. Don't. It'll be fine, gamers. Do not worry. It's totally fine. This is on the fly fixing of crap. It's totally fine. Nothing's going to go wrong. It's not ideal for sure. I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, I just move? Okay. So we got... Reginald, who is a crusader, and who are you? Dismas, highwayman. Okay. He's got open vein, pistol shot, grape shot blast, and uses per battle. Okay. Flintlock and rusty. Ooh, that's going to be great. And worn overcoat. And my crusader, rusty halberk, and battered longsword. And I have two food. He's going to go great then. What's this? Move to this room. Okay. Is there any, can I interact with anything? Oh, Radiant Light 100 gives me pluses to dodge, scouting, and monster surprise. Shift click to reduce torch. Or shift control click. Oh, okay. I don't know why you would do that, though, since it gives you bonuses, but whatever. All right, let's move on. Oh, just select a destination. Okay. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Okay, so mouse can move and WASD can move. Okay, so the sides? I don't know. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Okay, combat's turn based. Click on on your hero's turn, click on click a skull icon and then click a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot. Okay. There are no valid targets, mouse over. Okay. I don't want you in the front, though. You don't have a lot of health. But you're also not me, I believe. I believe this is me, the warrior. I'm going to go with the warrior's me, because that's who I want. Let's open a vein! Seven damage. Nice. Debuffed. And he bleeds some, I guess. Slice and dice. Oh! I'm in the back, and I still haven't got hit. Okay. You... Accusation, ranged, uh, can I heal any? So that adds to my torch and buffs myself with protection. Uh, stunning blow, you know, let's go with zealous accusation. Yeah, sure. Their nice. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. 
Each item, if you take it, will occupy space in your inventory. Mass over items. Okay. This works in your inventory. Okay. So... It's just gold. We're taking all of it. Okay. To collect ourselves. Halt. Can I heal myself? One unit per meal. So, so far it looks like the only thing I can use to heal myself is actually health. <laughs> or is actually the food I have. Which I don't want to use any because... Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Totally fine. I don't know what these... Oh, stress. So, bottom bar stress. Alright. What? Oh, okay. I lost because that... Interactive objects. Curios. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Uh, okay. Ooh, valuables. Wealth so, measure. onyx. Awarded to the brave and the alike. Okay, what's this do? I don't think Leave I can do anything unchecked. with it. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Okay, I don't know what else I would check though. Can I equip this? No, I just have four of them. Okay. Oh gosh. We're just real quick, real quick, real quick gamers. Do not worry about this. It's all good. I'm gonna hate this video. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Darkest Dungeon's doing with uh, the resolution. It's very strange. Okay, do I just go on? Yeah, there we go. Click, click the door and walk on. An ambush. Ooh. Send these vermin a message. Okay. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Very good. Yes. Okay. So, tracking shot, base damage negative eighty by best stealthy stealth. Okay. I don't know what any of that crap means. Let's just do open vein. Uh. Yeah. Get some bleed on him. Yes. Got a crit, and that buffed me. Oh, gosh. Blanket fire. Nice! So we can dodge, and there's a way to avoid damage. I see. Okay. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna... Well, no. Let's do stunning blow. Let's see what that does. Not a lot of damage, but... Oh, he resisted. That's why. Punishment? Oh, man. Freaking flagellant up in here. Oh, you can also get stress. Okay. Keep on with that. With that. Open vein. Open it up there. Try zealous accusation. Nope. Oh, nice. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Hmm. I got some gold, anti-venom. I believe I'll need to use that. Deed. Fall. Scriven records of land grants and generations past, and a bust. Hey! Two busts. Take it all. After you've completed the requirements for a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Okay. Quest completed. Um, We're going to continue for now and see what's in this chest. Oh, no! Blight. Well, I have some anti-venom, so can I just give that to him? There we go. Now, he's still two damage per round. One, okay. Let's try food. That'll cure him some, that'll cure me some. Hmm. I wanna get rid of this, uh, I guess it's bleeding. Two speed, minus, okay, well. We'll move on and we'll return if we need to. To town, that is. Oh, it's just the one room. Okay, yeah, I guess, yeah. Return home. Quest complete. Didn't know we were just one room. Easy peasy. 5,000 gold. My okay, it's just telling me my collected stuff. And these are all heir heirlooms. So I got busts or one thing. I didn't get anything of those. I got deeds and four of the crests. Nice. 
Oh, that was easy. What's so hard about the game? Okay, so you get resolve and they're both level one. Okay, so what's this do? Tough, natural swing. So plus five ACC, which is ACC. Oh, nice. Tough, more max HP. Short on gold, sell them to trinkets directly from me. Okay. So it seems like there's a town and I'm trying to get back to my Welcome family's home, manor. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Oh my god, just... Just, 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 now that I have actual border on stuff, let me just get this to the actual size for y'all. I don't know what Darkest Dungeon is doing here. This is not dark. I'm not saying that this is a problem. Like, get my window that I'm looking at, that I'm playing on, the screen looks totally normal. It's, for some reason, the resolution output on... Let's lock it there. The, the resolution output into OBS is an issue. So if you're going to stream this game or whatever, that might be an issue. But otherwise, playing it, I don't have any issues. Caretaker goals. Quest goals. Successfully complete your first foray into the ruins. Defeat the apprentice necromancer. Defeat the sonorous prophet. Defeat the necromancer. Okay. So, Highwayman level 1 and apprentice crusade. Okay, so. Oh, so I'm neither of them. Nice. So, I can't die. That's good. Okay. I don't know what else to do here. I guess exit out of this. Oh, okay. Here's the town. Get help where you may on any screen in the game. Press and hold H. That is very helpful. See contextual help for controls in that mode. Try it while in town. Exploring, fighting, camping more. Okay, so what's this? Stagecoach. Recruit new heroes. Nice. Ancestors memoirs. View ancestors memoirs. Nomad wagon. Shop for rare items. Blacksmith. Complete more quests to unlock. Okay. Guild. Complete more quests to unlock. Tavern. Complete more quests to unlock. Sanitarium. Complete more quests to unlock. Nice. And prepare for what lies, but what lies below. Uh, graveyard view fallen heroes and Abbey complete more quests. Oh, that's the guild. Let's check out the graveyard. Most will end up here, nice. covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Oh, cool! Once you uh, select one of these, you can go. You can click on the icon and in go there. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh, so this is where you see all these story aspects of the game. That is very, that is very nice. Nice, all succinct. So you could literally beat the game, then, you know, watch each one one by one. That's very good. I like to see that in any role-playing game. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. I'm not going to get anything right now. Let's go recruit. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Seeker Plague Doctor and Seeker Vestal. I don't know what a Vestal is, so let's get you and a of you. Battle, pious and unrelenting. Okay, maybe like a cleric and a plague doctor. Upgrade. Okay. Spend some of your Okay, so you spend starting heirlooms and you can upgrade your Stagecoach network. Okay, where's the plus sign? Can I? I guess, I guess I can do that on every building. So plus, stagecoach. Okay, yeah. Size of your roster, and this increases number of available here. Let's do that. And okay, down here. Okay, so let me also do that. Word is traveling. That's all I can do. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can nice. use this. Uh, what else did I want to? What was it? No. Not the graveyard. Can't upgrade that. I can't upgrade the wagon, so let's upgrade the wagon. Increase the number of available trinkets to four. I only get one of these, or reduce trinket. Let's reduce trinket cost, because I am sure these things will be expensive. Lucky charm. The simplest object can be a talisman against evil. Sure, let's buy it, since I can't even go to the blacksmith. Okay. Uh, can't I, like, equip people with stuff? Sort by level. Oh. I will, I'll do that later, y'all. Uh, let's click on... Okay, right-click. 
Uh, equipment. Where do I see, like... I guess this is it. Ah, here we go. Debuff resist. I'm gonna give that... Sure, we'll give it to you. I'm liking... Mm, dodge is 5. Your dodge is 10. Your dodge is 0. Your dodge is 0. So... Let's give it... Yeah, let's give it to him. I'm liking him. He's got dodge to spare. That's fine. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, so you can just... Accuracy. ACC is accuracy. Protection points. I don't know what that does. Speed. Damage. Okay. So, he's a tank, I would assume. He's got the most health. Okay, he's more accurate. Better speed. What has she got? Kleptomaniac. Prone to stealing items. Great. Off guard. Minus four speed on first round. Oh, God. That's horrible. But Beast Slayer. So, that's good. Uh, can I see... Dismiss... Oh, I can rename them. That's nice. I can't see her abilities? Oh, and that's, that's cool. I can switch her outfits. Doesn't change the outfit. It just changes the color she's got. Alright, we'll leave with brown. Sorry. Alright. Preferred position in the front, of course. He's still got stuff locked. Camping skills. Okay. Can reduce stress, reduce stress, reduce stress, and yeah, okay. Mainly in combat, uses per bat. Okay, so this is really a by the numbers RPG thing, which is great. Okay, this is what these dots are. He prefers to be in the front and prefers to attack in the front. You prefer prefers to be in the middle, but can be anywhere. And preferred target is. Second to the back. Camping skills. Oh, so he can actually heal. That's good. So it looks like you do a lot of your healing out of battle, it would seem. Cleaning guns. Nice. And you can also buff out of battle. Dazzling light. Divine. Okay, so you can heal in battle. So you got, like, green for healing. Looks like yellow for buffs. And orange, red for attacks, it would seem. That doesn't really mean... No. Just That's just for her, though. Oh, what can she do out of battle? Pray. If religious. So, either way, reduces stress. Adds protection, I believe. And chance, so reduces stress. Nice to see. After certain battles. Pep talk, reduces stress. Drooling, what are you doing? Okay, he likes to be in the back, so he's got a ranged play grenade. Incision, nice. Uh, battlefield meta, so he can heal too, good. And disorientating light, okay. Encourage. Leech it, mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Leeches heal ya. This is very much a gothic game if leeches heal you. And self medicate, oh nice. <laughs> just a little bit of, just a little bit of, ah, just get it right in there. A little bit of self medication, nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Just give me, give me, give me it right there in the vein. Alright, crude satches. Attendant robes, what does she got? Rusted mace, worn cloth and plate. Okay, so she's got some heavy armor too. But she looks like prefers to be in the back. Okay. Alright. What's this? Glossary. Okay. Meh. Sorry. I don't know what that is. It's probably opening sign up behind here. Let me... What's this? Oh, that's what I originally had. And this is settings again. Okay. Oh, so actually a little bit more settings. Help controls you got in here. Okay, nice. You got town hotkeys, quest hotkeys. Glossary you can access from here too, so just expands the menu. Alright, let's embark once more at the very least. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. You select a quest and form an adventuring party of four heroes to embark on it. Click on quest to see the details. Drag heroes into slots at the bottom of the screen to form your party. And default party order. Okay, so... Oh. Second to last. I'll put her there. Max HP. Okay. She's got no dodge or anything, though. And you go down here, too. Okay. Oh, I will turn on that thing. What, what was it? Options... 
gameplay. Oh gosh. Okay, so this has more options in it. So you got quest warnings, embark warnings, deck based stagecoach, curio tracker. Okay, lots, lots more stuff. Control options, here it is. Uh, hold required in dungeon, let's turn that on. Save. Interesting that they hide some stuff behind. What is this? What is this? I can't, I won't. Okay, a state map. I guess, I guess this is the only place I can go to. There's nowhere else to click to. But Warrens, Weld, Ruins, Cove, and the Darkest Dungeon. We are the flame. Alright, I guess Warrens, Scout, treat yourself, test yourself in the mad realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creatures have taken over, but don't delve too far. Short, Apprentice Level 1, Explore, go. Okay, so I just gotta explore enough and I'll get gold, more crests, and a stun charm. That's good. Uh, Provision. Okay. The cost ah. of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. So I want to take different supplies in. Okay, depending on what region you're going to, how long quest is. Okay. Always bring some food and torches. So we got anti venom, which is good. Holy water, which is good. Let's go with. Uh, Do two rations for everyone and torches, he said. Uh, one for everybody. We got anti venom, that's fine. Oh, so bandage stops bleeding. Let's get one of those. Okay, multiple usage is there. Skeleton key. Always love a skeleton key. Increase resistances. Soothing. To turn to endure ones. Okay, so this probably reduces stress. Let's get one skeleton key and I guess laudanum. Good old laudanum. All right, let's embark then. Be curious and be careful. I will try all of that. Okay. Uh, let's look at the rooms. A lot of rooms. Can I just move forward? Oh, no. All right, so first room. Mm. Oh, just an unburned if torch. Only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I do love how we're all kind of like, eh. And it's interesting, you zoom in as you walk backwards, and you zoom out as you walk forward. Okay. That's all that's in this room. Let's go. Next room onward. Oh, boy. All right. She goes first. Battlefield medicine or disorientating blast. Let's do that, and I guess I can only attack him there. Stunned. Nice. All right. Pistol shots, open vein, nah. Grape shot's gonna get both of them. Let's do grape shot, we'll get both of them. Grape shot out of a pistol, nice. Bump in the night. Ooh, can't touch me. You know, these are skeletons, right? I'm pretty sure zealous accusation is gonna, yeah. That's what I thought. All right. Contents are yours. Glittering gold. Shovel. Trinkets and baubles. And gold. Okay. Paid for in blood. I'm loving the uh, narrator. I keep thinking there's gonna be more side scrolling, but it really just seems like nope. Just, just, just go to either room. What is? What, okay. Obstacle. Battle. And move to this room. So. I guess, yeah, I'll, get, I'll have to go through an obstacle and a battle, so. Oh! It's a lovely obstacle. Okay, where's that shovel? He 
Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Plus stress and monster crits. Let's get it back up to full. All right, so torches aren't as effective as I thought they'd be. Oh, man. Okay, who's first? That's not good. Well, one damage isn't too bad. Oh, come on. Uh, grape shot will hit everybody, so let's do that. AoE for the win, y'all. Disorientating blast. Uh, plague grenade. Disorientating blast, we'll get more of them. Oh, no. Ooh! Gonna have to heal yourself four to five, heal party one to three. Okay. Zealous accusation. Yeah, zealous accusation. So I can cure Blight and Bleed, so I don't need to buy Blight and Bleed items. Plague Grenade, let's go with that. Uh, probably, yep, probably figured resist as soon as I hit it. Grape Shot on all of them, let's go. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Mm, plus 20 Blight Resist. Uh, I know I'm playing favorites, but deal with it. I mean, hey, he's getting less dodge, so that's fine. And take all of that. Okay, what are your stats though now? I don't want you to be horribly bad at dodging. Eh, you got four. Do uh, you got one dodge still. It's fine. Oh, spend a torch. Why not? And come on. Oh, nope. Can I not go through the door? Or am I in the room now? See, I keep forgetting. I, don't, I keep not knowing if I'm in the room or not. What? What was that? What was that six thing from? Okay, so. How do I camp? <laughs> I don't know how to camp. Default player order. Center party on map. Hmm. Ah, shucks. I meant to put it on her. Okay, so very much you have to click on who you want to do, who, who, who you want to use the item on before you, you know, use it. Uh, there's like icons. Well, that one's got treasure, so we're going that way. Man, she is not dealing with this well. Contains loot! Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. So I've got... I don't know what I picked up. I picked up stuff. I guess just deeds. Easy. Easy. This room's got treasure in it, right? Ugh. Unfortunately not. Just treasure. Let me take out my vest. Okay. Grape shot, let's go. I'm loving it. I'm loving Grape Shot. Play Grenade's not going to do a lot. Let's try and disorientate that thing. It's got more health. Moved it forward. Okay. Not good. Ooh. Who's up? Oh, their character. They're really going for my one character. Gosh. Uh, Accusation. Plus 15 versus Unholy. All right, yeah. Smite on, yeah. Their formation yeah. <laughs> when the most offense. monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses active temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just funny. But often a better approach is to use range skills Push slash pull skills and even corpse clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monsters killed with bleed, blight, and or crits leave no corpses at all. That's good. Heal yourself. You're not doing too hot. You really can't do anything back there, buddy. 
You can heal. One. One health is one health, y'all. Come on, grape shot. <laughs> okay, so there is a little health bar on the dead corpse. Smite you. Yeah. The Give them no quarter. Come on. Ooh. Everyone could use some healing. Oh, so that increases my torch. Let's try that. Okay, because it's a light-based spell. Uh, let's try and disorientate him so that he doesn't go. Open vein or grape should be a waste. It's open his vein. At least a skeleton. Falls, so. Faint hope blossoms. Take it all. Contents. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it in the room. Um, let's get moving before our torch goes down. Um, yeah, move to this room. Do, 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 do. Nothing to see. Just keep walking. Ah, so there are traps, and you just—I don't know if there's a way to, you know, not walk right into them. I'll use my last torch, and I guess just try and use abilities that increase torch. Oh, so I do know there's a trap. And a curio. Well, let's go. And let's watch out for traps. I wonder if you can... Oh! Okay, so you can disarm traps, nice. And that gave me something, <laughs> gave me something. All right, get the curio out of this room, come on. Ugh, skellies. Grape shot, here we go. Oh, come on. All right, here's blight on self. They're gonna be resistant to plague grenade. Sure. Oh, yeah, let's get the range guy. Yeah, he's probably not great up front. I don't have any torches. Uh, my turn. Anything that gives me more torch? Nope. So, smite's, smite's going pretty good. Probably kill him, right? Maybe. No. Got torch though. Graveyard slash? Ugh. Not good. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. Dodge out of the way. Mm -mm. Ooh, it's not looking too good there. Um, zealous accusation. Okay, stunning blow. Let's do Zealous Accusation. I'll do damage to both of them. Yeah. Good old Grape Shot. Hope I do not- hope you don't die this turn. Ah, here we go. Heal four to five. Ooh, I- you can crit on health. I love that. Uh, whose turn? Grape Shot once again. Damn miss. Oh no. Oh no. He's not looking too good. Uh. It's a cure. Every bit of health helps. It's a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. No, he's really not looking too good. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Dismiss. Let's do that. Yeah. Ooh. One dead, one still alive. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can heal double if he crits. Range shot. Sure, we haven't done it yet. Nice. Portrait and money. 
What's this? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, okay, good. Healing. Can I do that with multiple people or nope, just one. Okay, go to the map and we're gonna go okay, so you can only move to two rooms. Like, so doubling back does cause you to waste time. Hunger. Oh! Eat food, eat four food, regain five percent health. Do nothing oh gosh. Now we're gonna eat some food. And actually, if you eat food... Okay, so eating food heals you too. Let's just... Because I don't think we'll be in... I don't think we'll be in here long enough to need the rest of that food. So let's just go on. Heal up you two. Oh. Whistles? Oh, okay. She's stealing. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So I lose all of those items. All right. That's what the the sneak thief cuz she has Yeah, kleptomaniac. Okay. I'm not liking her too much. He's got light sensitive where he loses damage. Okay. What do you have that's bad? Known cheat is not <laughs> That's not too bad. I mean, come on. It's not too bad. He's just not allowed to gamble. That's understandable. Okay. So he's a kleptomaniac too. All right. That that Okay, yeah, 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 we're running out of torch, I know, I know. Hopefully we clear this last room, we get out of here, and it's fine. Yeah, return to Hamlet, very much, because I don't see anything in there to take. Oh boy! It's stressful, and it's, you know, coming in clutch. I guess you lose these after each one. What do we got? Two resolve, XP. What do you got? On guard! Four speed on first round, four dodge on first round. Nice. In town, we'll only gamble. That, we'll see how that works, because he's also not allowed to gamble. 10 ACC, okay, so bonuses versus Eldritch. What do you got? Warrior of the Light, plus 10 damage. Okay, so opposite what this guy's steady. Minus 10% stress, very good. Let's see what gambling does. The tents are pitched, banners fly. And the corpse wagons stand at the ready. The circus has come to town. Oh, once you get access to the sanatorium, you can remove the negative quirks. Okay, so that's good. The circus has arrived, and the outskirts of town, bringing with them all manner of crude sports into the ring this week to relieve tin stress from all heroes. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, no. Okay. I hate that. If you're going to have DLC, like, just have the option of whether I have it or not. Don't give me, like, an in-game lore like, oh, the circus is in town. Okay. Butcher's Circus can't do. Tavern is now unlocked. Abbey is now unlocked. Okay. So, we will check those out. Tavern, stress relief. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Okay, locks it until the next week. Okay, you'll have to take a different hero with you for the next quest. Okay, so... So there's a bar. I can't use that option. Oh, we can upgrade you, tavern. I guess so. Upgrades bar, yada yada. Gambling hall. Uh, she needs stress relief. Uh, let's also see, though, Abby. Stress relief as the well. The webs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The Abbey calls to the faithful. Oh, it costs gold, so let's go with the cheapest one. Confirm treatment. All right, and where's my... Oh, circus, get it. No, sorry, I don't want you. Stagecoach. Seeker Vestal, Houndmaster. Okay, so two Houndmasters and a Seeker and Vestal. His faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. And who else has high No one really else has high stress. I mean, Drulin does. What do you got, skill-wise? So we've got Hounds. Looks like he does a lot of uh, self-buffing. Oh, I still don't know how you... I guess camping's when you're back at town, so that's good. Guess you can turn them off and on. Curious, Meditator, okay. Britan, okay, so... 
They're the same, one's just a higher level. What about you? So you're my healer. You're the healer I'm taking in, so. Definitely going to keep you in there, and I'll keep him in there too. Um, actually, we don't have a lot of time left. We'll take one of we'll take one of these two next time. We're not gonna get super far. Uh, center. No, 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 no. We're good. Let's just go to the wagon. I cannot afford either of those, but one of those gives you better scouting chance and minus one speed. One gives you more speed and more move resist. Okay. Uh, what do I want to upgrade? Yeah, who, 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 who is this? Okay, so, since he's... Okay, so, we'll get another one there. All manner of diversion and dalliance await yeah. those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. That's fine. Upgrade the wa the stagecoach if we can. I can't. Okay, shucks. Abby, can I upgrade you? Sorry, Abby, can't upgrade you. Can't do any... Oh, no mad wagon. Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's start on another thing. Uh, I will... Where do you like to be? You like to be in the back. Okay. Let's put you and get our healer in the back. Okay. Snake oil. Good. Portrait. Nice. And I just have to... Oh! So you can... Alright. So you can redo levels multiple times, I guess. Because... There's just multiple levels here. Okay. Let's see what provisions we got. I don't have that much money. Uh, torches. And food is also important. What is this dog bone? Greatly increases the hound's vigor for a short time and holy water. And I'm probably gonna want at least one, maybe two shovels. Let me get a skeleton key kit. It's interesting that you just sell off your provisions between each um, each week, which I guess makes some sense. You're just transferring it all back to gold, but I'm wondering if the return value is exactly the same. I think we're good. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, we could all die, but yeah. Embark. You can retreat from combat and even abandon quests if things are going terribly, live to fight another day. Okay, so there is a worst case scenario, get the hell get me the hell out of here option. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. Let's check out the dog. Okay, so I can only select the character with okay. Alright. Oh, room. Room, room, room. Always forget about the rooms. Uh Oh man. Battle room. That room I don't know. Okay. Well, this episode's going to end soon, so let's go full hog with the curio and two combats it seems. Take it. Ugh. What? What was that? Passages are unsettling and you just took it? What is his known cheat? Okay. I don't know why you took my stuff though. But for some reason Okay. Okay. Where's combat? There we go. Alright, who's up? Oh no. Dodge, dodge, and one minus two. And get a debuff. Grape shot, take them all out. Ugh. Frustration. These look like actual people. Cutthroats and smugglers, it would seem. Zealous accusation. Did some AoE. What do you got? Hounds rush. Ranged, okay. Gives bleed though. And guard dog. Okay, so it gives him additional tally. And. Oh! Can reduce stress. That's good. Let's go with Hound's Rush and just attack the guy in the back since he can AoE us. Get him some bleed. Uh, where's my. No. Dazzling Light. Uh, in the back. Nice that you have characters that can actually increase torch. Oh no. Not great, not great. Not horrible, not, 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 not great. Ooh, dodge it. Great shot, here we go. If you haven't guessed so far with how long I've been recording this, this is a great game so far. The music is great, the narration's amazing. 
The challenge, at least so far, is just... Oh, what? Okay. Uh, so I can't move you this turn. Let's do Dazzling Light on you, because you're... Ah! Uh. So I can do an ally as well, but let's just... I need that guy in the back dead. He's already got bleeding, so let's get guy in the front some bleed too. Can I move you forward? Oh no. Move? Okay, so you have to choose to move. And it takes a whole turn. Okay, I don't like that it takes a whole turn. That's frustrating. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Get some more bleed. Ah. Uh. Might you press this advantage? Give them no quarter. Take all of that and see. I wish you could use these out of combat, but you can't. Okay, so feed you once. Sure. Evil. No, I'm not gonna. Okay, one more combat in this room, and we'll be in the room. Oh, okay. You can mix up. Oh, they're surprised. Does that give me a full round? Hopefully. Heal you. Oh yeah, grape shot, baby. And you, damage versus unholy, take him out. Ah, almost dead. Oh, I got some bleed. That's not good. Oh no, they're really going for my AOE guy. Not liking this. He can dodge, though. He can certainly dodge. Okay, so... Okay, so Judgment heals self. I really need to heal him, because he's going to have bleed, which is going to lose per turn. Can, you, can I have anything to fix bleed? I have nothing to fix bleed. Great. Uh, let's burn a torch while we can. Nice to see we can do that in combat. Oh, good. Okay. Ooh, it's a big hit. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. So bleed is persistent. I mean, it makes sense it's persistent throughout. Holy water do anything? It buffs you, but it doesn't do anything. He might die this this whole game. All right, let's get to the next room and we'll end this. There's nothing in here. There's nothing. Okay. Well, I'm going to end the video here. I might continue playing this and do a full review later. We will see. I mean, so far it looks great. Uh, I love the little character models and, and how cartoonish yet, you know, grim and gothic and serious this whole thing is. And the classes are just different. I mean, you do have like a standard warrior and you do have kind of like, you know, a roguey uh, swashbuckler with a range weapon. And I guess, I, I, you know, maybe druid, animal handler here. But, you know, cleric, warrior person here. It's all great. It's all great. Great design. I mean, like I said, I don't know what's going on with OBS uh, in the resolution scaling. But that's a me issue, not anything else. But, yeah. All right. I think. Hmm. Let's see. Let me just check something. Campaign. Let me see if you can load right in in the middle of a dungeon. Oh, it looks like you can. That's that's good to see. Uh, very good to see a game that lets you leave whenever you want to, without punishing you. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. Yeah, you're in the you're in the exact exact same spot. That is very very good, and I like to see that for any game. Okay. Like I said, I'm leaving here. Thank you, gamers, very much for watching if you made it this far. I've been a formal bust. Uh, feel free to do the stuff, but really just thank you for watching. And until next time, gamers, take care of yourselves and drink some H2O.